You want to play Minecraft with your friends, and in order to do that, you want to learn how to make a Minecraft server. Well, in this video, we're going to show you exactly how to start a Minecraft server in version 1.21.2 in order to start playing with your friends on that server. However, it is worth noting, this is just for your friends, your family, people you would trust, and invite over to your house. And that's because this is hosted on your own internet connection, meaning anyone who can join this server who you send the IP address to can DDoS you, which basically means like hit your internet offline and make it kind of hard to access and things like that, as well as figure out where you live down to your latitude and longitude coordinates. So it's important that this is only for your friends, your family, people you trust. On top of that, you're going to need a good internet connection because, well, people are using your internet when they're joining this server, and you're going to need a really good computer because Minecraft's pretty resource intensive to run, but it's even more resource intensive when you're trying to run a Minecraft server and play Minecraft on your computer all at the same time. Lastly, this server is not 24-7. It's only going to be up and running when your computer is up and running, so that means if you turn your computer off or don't want the server using your computer's resources, anymore, the server won't be online anymore, and that's because it always has to be online and running in order for someone to join it, meaning it's not 24-7. Lastly, you'll also need some kind of tech skills usually. There's an over 20 minute video linked in the description about all the things that can break in a Minecraft server and how to fix those, and we try to prevent as many as we can as we're setting up the server, but still, some tech knowledge can be helpful when running a Minecraft server. So what if you don't have to worry about any of that though? What if you want a server that's easy to set up? You don't have to worry about, you know, DDoSing or anything like that. You can make it public or private. I mean, you can keep it for just your friends, but you don't have to worry if your friend sends the IP address to someone you don't trust, them joining the server and figuring out where you live. That's not a worry. And what if you don't have to worry about your internet connection or hardware or anything like that, and you want it just the best Minecraft server experience possible? Well, that's where our company, Simple Game Hosting, comes in. Go to the first link in the description down below to break down the next way size simple to start a 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server for you and your friends on hardware that is designed to run Minecraft servers and designed to be secure while running Minecraft servers. At Simple Game Hosting, you also also don't have to worry about if there is an issue with your server because servers do break occasionally and when they do at Simple Game Hosting, there's expert live chat support there for you to reach out to and get assistance with any issues that may occur, whether that's the server just randomly going offline, or if you decide to go more advanced and install mods or mod packs or anything like that, the live chat support team is there to help you out. Plus, speaking of mod packs, there's one-click mod pack installation of hundreds of mod packs, making even that simple and easy to add to your server should you decide to play mod packs with your friends. So go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below. The breakdown at XYZ slash simple, and don't worry about DDoS or any of the other things that you have to worry about when hosting a server yourself, do it the simple way at Simple Game Hosting. Nevertheless, what if you do want to start a server on your own computer? Well, that's where this video is going to go in. We're going to go over everything you need to know to get a server up and running on your own computer. First things first, you want to go here. This is the second link in the description down below that will take you to our in-depth guide on getting a Minecraft server. This is all in text format. The video you're watching right now will be up here unless a newer one's out, and then that'll be up here at the top. The at the top is always the most up-to-date video we have. Same thing with this article. We update it every time we need to in order to make sure it's always as up-to-date as possible. When you're on this page though, go ahead and click on the download Minecraft button to go to Minecraft's official download page for your server. On this page, click on this green Minecraft underscore server point one point twenty one point two link, right? So this is download Minecraft server here. When you click on that, it will go ahead and start downloading the Minecraft server jar. You may need to keep or save this file here like we are. It's 100% safe to do that because this is Minecraft's official website. If you've downloaded Minecraft, you've downloaded something from here before. Now we want to go ahead and minimize our browser and find the file that we downloaded. Now for me, that's going to be in my downloads folder. So if I go to my downloads folder here, there it is, the server.jar. Move this to your desktop just for ease of use. And if it doesn't have .jar at the end, that's okay. As long as it says server, you're good to go. Now once this is on your desktop, go ahead and right click and create a new folder. And title that folder Minecraft 1.21.2 server because that's what we're making. And then you want to go ahead and move the server.jar into this folder. Now, all you've got to do to start this server is double click on this server file. If it doesn't say .jar, by the way, you can come up here to the top, click view, and then make sure file name extensions are checked, and then you will see .jar there. Now, when you double click on this, it's going to go ahead and try to start. It's going to fail though, and if for whatever reason you don't get any of these files and folders here, for example, I got the EULA, that's the one we really need, but I also got a few other folders here. If you don't get this, well, that's because you need to get Java, specifically Java 21. Java 21 is required for Minecraft 1.21, so if you've hosted Minecraft server in the past, you may not have the right version because this is new to this Minecraft version. So come here in the description down below. We have a link to downloading Java. This is our in-depth guide. It goes over everything you need to know. You'll also need to run the jar fix, but first download and install Java 21. Once you've got that, 
download and run the jar fix. It's super quick and easy. And of course, there is a guide here. And then finally, you will be able to double click on that server.jar and start your server and get these files and folders right like so. Now we want to open up the eula.txt file here in Notepad. And then, assuming we agree to the Minecraft EULA, which we do, we want to go ahead and change EULA equals false here to simply EULA equals true. T R U E exactly like that. Then go ahead and click File, Save, and now the EULA is accepted. We can double click on this server.jar here and your Minecraft server will start. Now at this point, your server is online and you can join it, but your friends can't. Let's make sure you can join it though, because well, it's important to do that. If you're lacking and things like that with just you on the server, it's definitely not gonna work well with your friends on the server. So just go ahead and make sure we can join, make sure the performance is good, and then we'll talk more about letting your friends join your server. So here we are, we're in Minecraft, and our server is online. You know that because it says done over here in the server's console. This is the server console, by the way. For example, if you wanted to opt yourself, which means basically give you permission to do anything on the server as far as commands go, like creative, things like that, you can go over here and type op, and then whatever your username is and then hit enter and it will go ahead and make you an operator in that case. To join this server though, we wanna to go to multiplayer and then click proceed and we can go ahead and add the server here. I'm gonna name this server just local connection because this is our local connection. And then we can go ahead and use the server address localhost, right like so. Then click done and after a few seconds it will resolve, there it is, local connection and we can double click on this and it will join. Now, you're the only person that can join the server this way. Like I said, make sure the server performs well, doesn't lag, all of that stuff. And this is actually performing very, very well, in my opinion. Um, so we could go ahead and add our friends or allow our friends to join this server. How do you do that? Well, it's actually the most complicated part of hosting a Minecraft server yourself, and that is port forwarding. In the description down below, we have an in-depth guide on how to port forward for a Minecraft server. It goes over everything you need to know, and this video in and of itself is 12 minutes long because, well, it's a very difficult and kind of in-depth process. It's not super difficult, and we try to narrow it down and make it as quick and easy as possible, but it is its own video because it's over 12 minutes long to just get port forwarding done. Once you're done with that, though, your friends will be able to join. So this is in the description down below. We've got a text format, of course, but we've also got an in-depth video format. Perfect, no matter what, whether you prefer video or text, to be able to allow your friends to join your Minecraft server. And we also have this link down below, which I wanted to quickly mention, which is how to fix broken Minecraft servers. There's tons of ways a Minecraft server can break. This goes over all of the most popular ones that are out there, how to fix a broken Minecraft server, and it goes over, like I said, all of the most popular ways that servers can break and how to fix them. But nevertheless, once you port forwarded, your friends will use your public IP to join, and they'll be able to join right on into your server. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. If this video helped you out, give it a thumbs up, and enjoy playing Minecraft with your friends. We'll see you in the next video. I'm out. Peace.